which is a commercial printing company. We do have business cards, flyers, uh, posters, brochures. Not in the packaging yet. There's still a limited amount of hemp pulp that's available on the planet. Uh, that's why we need uh, decorticators and processing equipment. We need all this stuff in the United States. We are lacking big time in the United States. Um, hemp stock paper is something we created in Colorado. It's a handmade paper that we made with uh, some friends from Pure Hemp Technology. They've got a bio refinery. The really cool technology is called a countercurrent reactor. Uh, One Planet Hemp is a hemp merchandise store. We sell t-shirts made of hemp and hats and um, a variety of other things. Silver Mountain Hemp Guitars right here. Uh, we started a hemp guitar company. We're making hemp guitars, hemp guitar cabinets with a, a hemp press board. Ukuleles, there's a hemp ukulele out here on the table. Uh, we've got guitar straps, we've got guitar picks, and we've got hemp plastic volume knobs that go up to 11. Because <laughs> we are one louder. Uh, we, we've got a website called hempevents.org, which kind of houses all of the events that we do. Plus, we post other events with partners like Kurt, um, a variety of other companies that put their events on our site. Uh, NOCO Hemp Expo is our large event. Uh, we're going into year six. We've, it's just been growing exponentially. Uh, we've already sold out of space and sponsorship this year. We've had to move to Denver. We're expecting anywhere from eight to 10,000 people this year, uh, 225 vendors. We've got a whole bunch of events here. You can see NOCO Hemp Village at a Rise Music Festival, which is a big music festival in Colorado, 100 plus bands. Uh, me and Rick Trojan, who will be up here next, are launching an event called Hemp on the Bayou at Jazz Fest. It's going to be more of a thought leader thing. I don't know if anybody here is familiar with Jazz Fest that goes on in New Orleans every year. It's a long-standing festival. Rolling Stones are playing this year, the day that we get in. So, you know, they decided to show up to give us a welcoming for the hemp thing that we're going to do out there. Thank you, Rolling Stones. Thank you, Mitch Edgar. Appreciate that. Hemp Harvest Party, it's an annual party that we throw in the fall just to celebrate the hemp harvest. Hemp on the Slope is a local community event. We just launched this thing called Colorado hemp Winter Hemp Summit to kick off this year. We talked about the Farm Bill passing and a lot of different policy things that happened in 2018 and what we can expect in 2019-2020. Southern Hemp Expo, um, another one that we just launched in Nashville, it's kind of our NOCO South. Uh, we had a great turnout this first year, over, over 4,000 people. And then Let's Talk Hemp is really a, a programming and education platform. Me and Rick have a podcast on there called Let's Talk Hemp in the 422, where every day is Earth Day, because every day is Earth Day, and we need to celebrate this Earth that uh, the, <laughs> the Great Mother gave us. So. All right, as we build our brand, what did I do with my paper? I think I left on the table over there. I can't remember all this stuff. I can cheat to here. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I just want to show some major brands here. I mean, when I, when I talk about that entrepreneurs are brands, look at Tesla. What do you think about when you think about Tesla? Elon Musk. No. That is the face of the company. Harley Davidson, I don't know if you necessarily picture anybody so much, but it's a big brand that's been growing in America for the last 60 years. Joe Rogan Experience, Joe is definitely his own brand. Oprah, who's got one of the shittiest logos ever, but everybody knows who Oprah is, right? Then we get into some of the, the big hemp companies that we may know about. Uh, Nutiva, they've been around since like 1999, 2000. A guy named John Ruluck, he's still very prominent in the industry, just launched a new line of botanicals called Free Botanicals. Bluebird Botanicals is a company out of Colorado who's just done an exceptional job with a great staff who just really, you know, everybody on the staff just shows tremendous care and love for the product and just great energy. And, and that's a reflection of the company and a reflection of, of the, the management there, Brandon Beatty. And of course, Elixinol. And we know that, that Paul himself is just a great brand representative. I mean, Paul is a walking brand. That guy's out there on social media, he's in radio, he's in print. Paul is all over the place. And then Manitoba Harvest is another company that's been out there Again, since the late 90s, a significant brand in the United States. They're, well, 
sorry, Canada, but now they're actually bought and owned by a, a hedge fund that's in the United States. And they also bought Hemp Oil Canada, who has a guy named Sean Crew, or did have a guy named Sean Crew, who is another great face of, of the hemp movement in North America. So entrepreneurs are brands. You gotta be visible in the marketplace. You have to be passionate when you like what you do. You need to be authentic and you need to show up every day. And Kurt was talking about authenticity. When you talk, look at Wolf Jordan, Steve Allen, you can, you can see the authenticity and you can hear the authenticity from these guys. You know, I met Steve for the first time in 2014. He came out to Colorado, did a building seminar. I got to print a hip poster for the seminar. And, you know, I could tell right then, it's like, man, this motherfucker is the real deal. And he was, and that's what he did. He's, he's out there all around the world, training people, talking about this product. This is what we need from our industry. This is what we need from new entrepreneurs, is to step up and to be authentic and to be passionate and believe in what they're talking about. You gotta show up every day. And how do I show up? Go to events, you attend, you can exhibit, you can speak at them, get involved in print media and digital media. I mean, this is stuff that Kurt was talking about. I mean, if you're just a one-man show or a two-person show, it's, it's kind of hard to do all this stuff, but all this stuff does matter. Whether you have to do it yourself or whether you can hire a public relations company to do it. Um, but if you can get on the radio and do radio shows, if you can launch a podcast and do a podcast every week or every couple weeks or once a month, just being able to do it or be able to jump on other people's podcasts. Social media. I mean, we've got, I've got two people doing social media for me now, and, and I do social media a lot myself, but personally, I, you know, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on LinkedIn, and I'm, on, I'm on YouTube, and then most of all of our brands have pages for all this stuff too, and it's a lot of stuff to manage, but it's all very important because other companies are out there doing it, and if you want to be relevant and you want to be noticed in the industry and noticed to the world and to the general public, you need to be involved in it. Charitable, charitable partnerships and community outreach. You know, if we're all local somewhere, we're part of a local town, a local area, local cities, and if we can get involved in charitable situations and show that, hey, you know, I'm from the cannabis industry, and you know, I I work with kids at risk. I'm involved with an organization in Fort Collins called Realities for Children that's dealt with kids at risk and they service like 22 agencies that help kids at risk and, and battered women and that sort of thing. And being a representative from the cannabis, cannabis industry represents well, saying, hey, the guy from the cannabis industry, you know, contributes to this every single year. Um, and another thing is uh, get involved with industry associations and organizations. You know, they, do, they exist in Europe, they exist in the United States, in Canada, in, in most places in the world. You know, Rick will get up here and talk. I mean, this guy's on more association boards than anybody that I know. <laughs> and I'm going to wrap up here. We're going to do one video. So we've got a promo video that we put together for... Uh, Just a little bit once a month. Oh, really? No. So we did this promo video for NOCO. And again, it comes down to really the marketing, the media, being visible. Here we go. Way turn out, turn that turn way way out.
you know, really going beyond the choir. We got to win in the court of public opinion, and not just in the United States, not just in Nepal, not just in Europe. We got to win in the court of opinion all over the world, and we need to unite all of us, everybody in this room, and our brothers and sisters that are outside of this room across the world we need to be arm in arm we need to be hand in hand we need to be one unified voice and we need to be one louder than all the naysayers all the propaganda and all the bullshit that's been fed to us for decades and decades and decades that's all I have.